It's an exciting time for the library right now. We just broke ground on a new building that will bring more space, more convenience, and more programming to help us meet the needs of this growing community. I'm Sarah Moore, and I'm the Executive Director of the Hussey Mayfield Memorial Public Library. I am so excited to be able to talk about this new branch and be a part of this project. It's probably one of the most exciting times to work for the library in the history of HMMPL. Well, to start, our current library has been just bursting at the seams with all the activity that we've had. This library started back in the 1800s with just a $600 gift. It grew into what it is today, which is a thriving modern library that serves the needs of over 37,500 people. We've just continued to offer more and more services and programs, but we don't always have the space for everything that we want to do. With this opportunity to build a new library, we get to think about what the needs of the community are and where libraries of the future are going to be. So it really becomes a community center and a place that people can count on to be able to meet and connect with each other. One of my favorite aspects about this new branch is the site itself. It's centrally located around a lot of great neighborhoods and it's going to be convenient for those residents. There's a lot of walking trails and paths that allow you to get from many places in Whitestone to the library um, without having to be on a major road. It's a large space, it's 11 acres, that includes about four acres of green space where we're gonna actually put the library and then have some green space and lawn for us to do programming. It just really expands our opportunities to offer programming, to offer ecological education, lots of things that I think we just can't do here at our current location. I'm Jamia Alexander-Ball, and I'm excited to serve as the branch manager for the new Whitestown branch. As Sarah noted, one of the great things about this new library is the site itself, and the team of architects at KRM Architecture did a great job of creating an exterior design that blends with the natural beauty of the site. The branch will be a 23,000 square foot, one-story building with natural tones and lots of glass to maximize views and really bring the outside in. There's also plenty of parking and convenient book drops for those who need to make a quick stop. The outdoor space this location provides will be fantastic for outdoor programming, sitting outside and reading, or just meeting up with friends and relaxing. I can already envision story times held outside of the children's area and book clubs meeting up and talking by the outdoor fireplace. It will be a great place to gather. As you enter the building, you'll come right into the main circulation area. It's a bright open space with lots of natural light that allows you to see straight past the adult section of the library through a wall of windows. This will open up to the woods in the back. This main circulation area is where you'll check out items, pick up holds, and find business services such as laptops to check out. To the west down the corridor is where you'll find an area just for teens with a glass garage-like door that can be opened up to tie the area into the main library space, it can be closed for special programs, or just when things might get a little rowdy or fun. The corridor continues down to the children's area. This is designed to spark creativity with a great imagination tree, playroom, and space for exploring. It even has its own door that opens up to a children's outdoor area. There's even a special sensory room adjacent to the children's area where sensory materials like we have in these kits can be used. Each kit includes a weighted blanket, a set of noise canceling headphones, a fidget spinner or popper, a monkey noodle, and a spiky ball. When we asked the community what they wanted most to see inside of the library, we heard things like quiet study rooms, reading nooks, and a maker space. In this new building, it really delivers in all of those areas. KRM did a great job of incorporating all of those needs into the building. In fact, we were able to get 17 of the 20 items that were most wanted into the building. And then we have plans to see if we can incorporate the rest in the near future. If you love hands-on creativity, you'll love this dedicated makerspace area of the new library. You'll be able to sign up to use modern technology like a 3D printer, laser cutters, soldering iron, sewing machine, various woodworking tools to complete your personal projects. We've seen some incredible things being done in the Maker Studio at the Zionsville location, and we're excited to see what we can house in this large, dedicated space that will just complement and build upon our current resources. We have a sound booth in the new location, and that is really exciting. Maybe somebody has uh, music that they've wanted to record, or if you're somebody that likes podcasts, and maybe you've had an idea for a podcast, you can work on making your art in our location, and that's just going to provide a lot of opportunities for our community. A lot of people do come to the library for a quiet space, and we'll have that available as well. We have many nooks and study rooms and meeting rooms. In fact, one of my favorite places in this new library is going to be a quiet reading room that features a dual-sided gas fireplace. 
Today's libraries have evolved to more than places to take your toddlers to story time or check out books. Our goal for the Hussey Mayfield Memorial Public Library is to provide not only valuable resources, but also programs, spaces, and areas that build communities. That's why for me, one of the greatest features of this new library is the large 200-person community meeting room. It has more than 2,500 square feet of space that community members can use even outside of typical operating hours. It has a separate entrance, food prep area, and restrooms. I'm excited to see all of the ways this community uses this room to come together.